welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting matrix question matrix exponential e to a matrix first i am going to take uh, the general case so if we take a matrix e 2 by 2 diagonalizable matrix and we know a is equal to p d p inverse and also if we take a to the n is equal to p d to the n p inverse okay then we know e to the x e to the x is equal to 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x square over 2 factorial plus x to the third power over 3 factorial and so on so we can write e to the x is equal to infinite sum 0 to infinity x to the n over n factorial okay now if we take a matrix e to the a e to the a is equal to 0 to infinity a to the n over n factorial well now we know a to the n is equal to p d to the n p inverse so we can write here n is equal 0 to infinity now a to the n is equal to p d to the n p inverse over n factorial and now this phi we can write outside of the summation uh, this uh, sigma sign so p n is equal 0 to infinity d to the n over n factorial times p inverse okay then here d to the n d we know diagonalizable matrix so if we take d is equal to matrix a 0 0 b now we know d to the n is equal to a to the n 0 0 b to the n okay then we can write here p sum of here d to the n now uh, instead of d to the n we can use this matrix so we can write a to the n 0 0 b to the n here over n factorial so we can write 1 over n factorial times p inverse okay then we can write e to the a is equal to here p then here n factorial we can write um, p sum of 0 to infinity matrix a to the n over n factorial here 0 0 p to the n over n factorial times p inverse then next step we can write p yeah this sum is uh, the sum we can write uh, matrix uh, sum of 0 to infinity a to the n over n factorial 0 0 sum of 0 to infinity b to the n over n factorial times p inverse well now here this is familiar with us this term and also this term because we know this is equal to here e to the a so we can write this is equal to 
p e to the a 0 0 e to the b p inverse now this is equal to e to the a now we have very interesting formula okay then now we are going to take our example uh, e to the 0 1 1 0 so now I'm going to take a is equal to 0 1 1 0 and now we are going to find the eigenvalues so we know lambda i minus a is equal to 0 and we can write here lambda mm, minus 1 minus 1 lambda is equal to 0 then uh, lambda square minus 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 plus so minus 1 is equal to 0 so lambda minus 1 lambda plus 1 equal to 0 so lambda is equal to 1 no lambda is equal to minus 1 now we have two reasoning eigenvalues so now we are going to find eigen vectors so when lambda is equal to 1 we can write null space of your lambda is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 and we can simplify this 1 minus 1 if we sum this here 0 0 now we can write 1 minus 1 0 0 vector x y is equal to 0 0 and now 1 times x so x minus y is equal to 0 x is equal to y now we can write here yeah, the span of 1 1 okay then when lambda is equal to minus 1 we can write null space of now lambda is equal to minus 1 so all values my are equal to minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and we can simplify this we can write minus 1 minus 1 here 0 0 and then uh, we can write minus 1 minus 1 0 0 vector x y here 0 0 now minus x minus y is equal to 0 x is equal to minus y and we can write here span of uh, 1 minus 1 okay now uh, we have corresponding vectors so we can write p is equal to here span of 1 1 so 1 1 here 1 minus 1 d diagonalizable matrix we know uh, we found the eigenvalues 1 and minus 1 so 1 0 0 minus 1 okay now we can write e to the a is equal to uh, p so 1 1 1 minus 1 now here we found the formula so we can write here e to the 1 so e 0 0 e to the minus 1 and here p inverse inverse of 2 by 2 matrix so if we find uh, 1 half minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay then now 
we can simplify this so here 1 1 1 minus 1 here 1 half and if we simplify this we have mm, Uh, sorry here uh, in inverse matrix we will have minus one half so we can write now here e 0 0 e to the minus 1 and here 1 1 1 minus 1 because we can multiply by minus sign okay now if we simplify this we will have one half <coughs> sorry e plus e to the minus one here e minus e to the minus one here e minus e to the minus one e plus e to the minus one okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching